What is up ladies and gents? This is going to be the season 7 bis list. I hope you all had a great season 6. It was probably one of the most stressful seasons ever, but we did it. And this is going to be the non-human regen set. And we're going to run a couple of different sets this season, or I'm going to give you a couple of different examples, and then you can kind of mix and match as you see fit. There's going to be a couple of core things that we're going to, going to kind of aim for. Then you'll kind of see where it goes from there. Obviously, as usual, there will be a shortened version where you can just see all of the gear if you want to. But this longer version is going to be a bit more of me explaining why I've made those choices and kind of building your understanding a little bit so that you can kind of switch things around depending on the gear that you find. So a couple of couple of key point is we're going to be aiming for about 1300 resilience. And do remember these things are all subject to change potentially as we play the season. If we feel things are a little bit different, feel we don't need to be as tanky, more tanky, all these things will come into play. It's hard to say ahead of time. This is our best guess and we do what we can. So yeah, 1300 resil. Then we're going to obviously be going for the 4% hit. These are like the core things that you want to want to be aiming for 4% hit obviously easy to get early on in the season 1300 you will be building up towards as you get the relentless pieces and then after that it's kind of do you go for haste or do you go for regen the spell power will kind of be a sort of byproduct of that it's not something that we're really going to be aiming for per se it's just something that you kind of get uh, as a result of it so without further ado we're going to look at the gear so we're going to be enchanting a little bit differently this season and that's going to be revolving around the Stamina Resilience Enchants rather than the Spell Power Resilience Enchants. So we're actually going to be running the Stam Resilience Enchant on the head and shoulders. And we're going to be running the Stam Enchant on the braces. And that's going to, us, going to give us an extra 1k HP, which is very nice with the higher resilience. They, they scale very nicely together. So yep, standard Relentless Hood, nothing different with the gemming. Make sure you go 5 out of 5 Mooncloth. Don't mess about with any two-piece satin, no need for any of that. And then as this is the regen set, this is going to be a Salvation and MP5 neck. And then standard Relentless Gladiator's shoulders. And we're going to be putting the JC gem in there. We're going to be running three 34 Resilience JC gems. Then we're going to be running the Shroud of Displacement. Now there is a couple of options when it comes to cloak i've done two builds for you i've done a build that does not include the 272 cloak the 272 cloaks might be a little bit more expensive a bit more tricky to get so if you don't fancy your chances at getting one i've done builds without them as well shroud of displacement should be should be easier to get your hands on and this is really nice it's got 40 49 hit on it so this is going to be just under half the hit that we need while putting a nice little bit of haste on it as well very juicy and i'm going to skip across over here really quickly to the boots because this is the other half of the hit rating this has got 60 hit on the 49 and the 60 is going to put you over hit cap which is four percent or 105 rating and this is also a very nice item with the haste on We've got some sockets for some extra resilience and that should be your 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 hit sorted then we are going to be obviously running the relentless robe regen braces regen weapon don't forget to buy the 258 if you get the rating for it then we're going to be running the regen offhand and wand Keeping in mind that we still have our spell pen offhand and wand for last season, which gives us more than enough spell pen. So if you are swapping to spell pen offhand and wand to do your fears, make sure you keep those items. They will be very handy. You can buy the relentless ones at the very end this last season. You don't, this season, you don't need to worry about getting them early on or anything like that because you can use your last stuff. If you are making a new character, just grab the stuff from season five that should be now available for honor. So obviously we're going to be running the medallion as usual uh, and then we're going to be running solace and this is going to be obviously expensive and tricky to get early on if you do get your hands on it very nice it's going to be a little bit less regen than the crystal that we saw last season but it's got a lot of spell power on it as well so this is very handy get one of these if you can if you can't you can just run the meteorite crystal which is here and this is actually going to be available from heroics so this is going to be really really easy to obtain so you can grab one of these before you get a crystal uh, but sorry before you get a solace and you're going to do just fine uh, and the last pve item we're going to be picking up is actually from the same boss as solace which is the circle of the dark mender and it's actually just a slightly better algalon ring which we're also still going to keep using as it's 252 item level so they're both haste mp5 with a socket just slightly increased stats on that one the rest of the items are relatively simple the Relentless Mooncloth Legs with the Double Resil Socket. Uh, we've got the Relentless Cord of Salvation. 
obviously this is the regen board so we're going to be putting the the 10 result 5 mp5 gem in there and that's gonna that's gonna be our only blue gem right we need one red one blue uh, and then the rest are gonna be yellow and that's gonna make our meta gem work because we have one of each and then the final item is gonna be the Rel relentless gloves with the 20 resil gem in it again and remember we have at the epic gems next season guys so don't forget to grab those it's going to be a nice boost to your resilience and we are still using engineering so hand mounted pyro rocket is still there next up we are going to be looking at the non-human haste build and this is very similar to the last one we have just replaced a few items mainly the off parts with haste instead of mp5 so we've got the haste neck we've got the haste braces there are actually haste off parts available this season uh, but we're actually running the haste weapon as well. Uh, and then there's a haste book, haste wand, and a haste belt. Now, this is a, the kind of build that is going to be obviously a lot lower re uh, in terms of regen. So this is probably going to be more useful in 3v3, where the games are a lot quicker and regen is not as important. Obviously, you can mix and match if you feel like you want to add some more regen, that kind of thing. If you're playing more 3v3 than 2v2, then potentially going for Blade of Celerity first is the play. However, if you're playing more 2v2, then I would say that the Salvation Weapon earlier on is, is going to be the play. So keep that in mind. You probably want to grab both eventually, but obviously you don't have infinite arena points, so choose wisely. And then finally, we have the non-human with the 272 cloak, the uh, Lady Liadrin's Conviction. Although this has spirit on, the increased stats due to the higher eye level actually make this worth running. But it does mean that you need to switch out something else to get your hit cap. So what I've done is I've actually swapped out the neck. Your other option is swapping out the ring for the PvP ring, which is what I actually do on the human. We'll see that in a bit. The reason I like swapping out the neck on Undead is because you already have relatively high resilience due to the trinket. So you're able to maintain about 1300 regardless. So getting the extra stats from the neck due to the higher eye level, since the off parts are 245 and this is 252, actually yields higher stats overall. The rest of the items are unchanged. Obviously you can run this neck, obviously you can run this neck cloak combo with both the regen set and the haste set. Just keep in mind, you'll be swapping other off parts around at your own discretion. Next up, we're gonna look at the human set. And this is gonna differ ever so slightly because we do need to get a little bit more resilience due to the lack of that trinket. Speaking of trinkets, I think I'm gonna start with those. And obviously we're gonna be running the meteorite crystal solace combo. We cannot actually run double solace. It is not available in Classic Blizzard, as actually said. They're not going to allow duplicates of items on different difficulties. And honestly, I'm not sure if we would run the normal Solus anyway, given how strong we found Meteorite Crystal to be this season towards the end in terms of regen. So I think Meteorite Crystal is a clear play here with the Solus, and your regen is going to be absolutely insane next season. So having a lot more haste is going to be definitely viable as a human. So this is going to be the haste build. And again, this is more prior towards 3v3, but you might be able to even get away with this in 2v2 on a human. So it's going to be the haste boots. We've actually opted to ditch the PvP boots, uh, sorry, the PvE boots in favor of getting our hit through the PvP items. So we've got the haste boots, haste belt, haste braces. We're going to be running the standard Mooncloth 5 set. We don't need to look at that again. That's all the same. But we are still going to be running the Haste Wand offhand and weapon now. And again, you can switch these at your leisure. So if you feel like you're running out of mana, you have the regen options. You have the spell pen options if needed. You, even if you're, if you're really invested in surviving, being tanky, having really every set available, you can even run uh, the haste stuff because it has more stamina and resilience on than the one hand and off hand. This is something that I've been doing this season. Uh, but yeah, so weapons, obviously you can switch at will and there's, the, there's a bunch of different options. Just try and think about what you need at the time. What you're going to be using, you know, the most, if it's 3v3, you probably want more haste. If it's 2v2, you probably want more regen. It's a good way of looking at it. There's some, so there's, there are some uh, distinctions when it's like different matchups and comp to comp, but that's generally a quite a good rule if you're not too sure. Uh, and you're coming into the arena as like a newer player and you're just really not sure where to go. It all feels overwhelming. General good rule of thumb is 3v3 go for haste, 2v2 go for regen. Can't really go wrong so as i said before the hit we're going to be running hit on the cloak and hit on the neck as a human everything else is basically the same there's no other real big changes and this is going to keep us at 1300 resilience which is going to keep us safe while having crazy regen plus a lot of haste this season 18 percent haste so that's going to feel great to play next up we've got human regen and not a lot differs with this one it's basically the same as the last set with regards to where we're getting the hit from same trinkets and we're just switching up the off parts as we saw before 
for the regen ones and the regen weapons. And again, this is something that you can, you know, you can do from game to game. If you've purchased the, the both different kinds of, of bracer, belt and boots, then you'll be able to queue up some marinas, see what's queuing, be like, okay, there's more of these kinds of teams queuing today. I want a little bit more of this, that, or that's that. I feel like I'm going um a lot today. I want more regen. I feel like games are really quick today. I want more haze, that kind of thing. So these are these are easy switches to make that don't have any real impact on the other uh, synergy of the gear because the hit is nicely obtained through the neck and the cloak and the spell pen is easily swappable on the offhand and the wand plus the enchant on the cloak that covers you for 130 pen. And finally, and this is probably my favorite, I think, set of the, the season and it's probably going to be the strongest uh, especially in 3v3 but maybe in 2v2 as well uh, due to the cloak obviously being a little bit harder to get you're going to have the double regen trinkets so you're going to be crazy crazy good for mana and then the, the resilience is nice and high as well so this is basically the same as everything again however we are switching out one of the rings we're switching out the 252 Ulduar ring for the relentless ring this season which has hit on and the hit combo with the neck is going to give us 100 and then we actually swap out i believe it's this gem for a instead of 12 spell power 10 resil we're going to put the 10 hit on there instead and that's going to get us up to 110 hit which is just over the hit cap this is probably going to be the chunkiest in terms of overall stats due to the insane regen that the double trinket is going to provide so if you are considering going human i would recommend it if you get these two trinkets if you're on Alliance. The only situation where human is not going to be better next season, assuming that they fix that bug, is if the double rogue, feral rogue, general rogue, plague, I guess, in twos remains and, and you want to be dwarf to sort of survive these, these matchups as much as possible. Uh, other than that, I think human is going to be a really good shout. So if you're thinking of going human, either wait until you get the solace or, or just go send it. It's uh, it's going to be good. And uh, that is it. That's everything I have to say on the best list this season. It's not too complicated this season. Nothing too crazy going on. Mostly sort of logic is going to allow you to switch up certain items. But I wholeheartedly recommend farming, you know, at least the hit, the MP5 and the haste neck and, and cloak. Uh, and then both haste and regen braces, belt and boots. And then the hit ring as well. So there's a fair, fair bit of honor farming to do. But... If you have all of these items, you're going to be able to switch based on what PV items you pick up. And you're going to be able to make a good set no matter what, basically. All right, boys. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good season.